Hey everyone, so today I'm here to do a quick review on a wig that I received from RPG Show um, Wigs Online and the shipping was pretty fast. I was contacted by one of the representatives from RPG Show and I got a chance to pick a wig from their sales um, section of their website because they have like a they have two parts of their sites. They have the regular kind, which the wigs are regular full price, and they have like the sales section. So I picked one of the wigs from the sales section. The wig that I got is the Glueless Cap Human Hair Wig Straight in 16 inches, and the uh, number on it is the IS069-S, and I'll have that information in the description box. That It's going to give you a direct link to the wig that I'm actually reviewing today. And the cap size that I picked was cap size 1, and the color was a color 1B. The texture was a uh, yaki texture, and it, the lace color was a medium brown, and the length was 16. So this will only be my second time wearing a lace wig. If you guys saw a previous video I had before, I had ordered a custom lace wig from overseas a while back. So... This is my first one, my second one that I'm ordering, wear, uh, ordering the second one that I'm going to be wearing. Um, and the texture is different and it is a little bit shorter than what I'm normally used to wearing. But hey, they asked me to review and I figured it was a good opportunity. So let me go ahead and do it. The way it came, the way it came in this box right here and it says RPG show and it just says lace wig 100% human hair and it has the telephone number website and email for the company and it was a pretty sturdy box they shipped this via uh, UPS and like I said the shipping was very fast so that was good the box wasn't destroyed in any way still in the same condition that it was in when I got it so tells you a lot and in the box you get the wig you get this wig cap right here you get the RPG show um, wig brush right here. And you also get <clears throat> this instruction manual on the um, lace wigs. And inside has, you know, care instructions on how to cut the excess lace, attaching the wig, removing, washing, and all that stuff. And it has a table of contents, so if you don't want to really read through everything, you can just kind of pick and choose which section you want to go to. And also in the book, they have uh, the, some of the styles that they carry, which is pretty good, right here. And it's about, you know, front and back page of that. And this is not all the wigs they carry, I believe. This is just a couple of them. So that comes in here. And you also get, of course, the wig itself. And I'm trying to see if you guys can see the texture. I've kind of been playing with it and I wore it a couple of times already so I can kind of get a feel for it. But let me see if you guys can see the texture. Okay. And it's a yaki texture. And like I said, it's 16 inches. And it's a full lace, and I'm not used to, like I said, I'm not a real lace wig wearer, so all of this stuff is kind of still new with me, so don't kill the messenger if I'm not wearing it proper, or this, that, and the third. This is my second lace wig. <laughs> um, as you can see, usually I know a lot of people that purchase, like, um, closures, they'll bleach the knots and stuff, and I think you... If you want the most realistic look, in my opinion, you probably should bleach the knots because if you look at it from the front, the knots aren't bleached. So if you probably bleach the front right here, then you'll probably get more of a realistic look. And the wig comes with <clears throat> three combs, two on the sides and one in the middle. And as I described, I had gotten the size one cap which to me was still a little bit big. So I don't know if they have a cap smaller. And I think the circumference of my head is 21 and a half, but I still think that might be still too big. I might have to go down to 20 or 21, period, without the half size. So what I had to do was put some, you know, fold the lace together in the back and then sew it down so it could be a little bit more fitting. <clears throat> and it fits a little bit better for me that way. Um, and like I said, it did come with this cap, but once I put it under, 
it wasn't a realistic look and you were able to see this band thing like clear through the wig so that was not any help to me it could have been you know i've seen other people review rpg show wigs and they've used that and it's been fine but that just didn't happen to work out for me so I'm, right now i'm just gonna wear a regular black cap just so i can show you guys how the wig works and i'll show you guys how it curls and we'll get down to that part now so i'm gonna put it on And I'm going to use my RPG show brush. Down some. And I'm just going to have it parted to the side a little bit deeper than you know normal and that's what the wig looks like on and i'm going to kind of show you guys how the wig curls so i ended up changing the part because i think i like it better on this side but this is what the hair looks like curled i didn't put any cuts or anything in it i'm kind of just being lazy but i wanted to see what it looked like in its natural state um as you can tell when i was curling i don't have a taped down glued down nothing because this is something i can take off and on i don't want to commit to all of that but overall i really like this wig i like the texture it curls effortless, effortlessly. <laughs> um, and like I said, I'll put the info in the description box below so you guys can get a chance to look at it. And I believe it, um, you can get $90 off the wigs that are on the sale site and $100 off the regular priced wigs. But I'll have all that information down for you in the description box. Um, and if you guys ever had ordered hair or wigs from RPG Show and you have any issues with your units, you can just contact them via their YouTube page. Just go to their YouTube channel, leave a comment, and they'll be sure to get back to you and kind of rectify the situation. So overall, I'm very pleased with the wig selection that I made. And even though I'm used to longer hair, this is still a pretty decent length. Um... But yeah, I definitely am a big fan of the texture though because it is a nice yakky texture. But let me guys, let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.